what's up everybody what's up uh lately uh i'm gonna tell you this man for the last uh i'm kind of kind of keeping track and i thought the last video i did about the trayvon martin case was gonna be dead like i was last one until they say he was guilty but uh several things came up and i thought it was kind of odd about the whole situation where some of the witnesses have lied and changed their story some of them said they was there some said said that they seen what happened but now to find out that Zimmerman has a close relationship to the uh, police chief and the police department it's kind of odd because it sounds like he's about to get off if he's got a close that is why nobody didn't hear about the rest of the evidence and nobody never questioned nothing and uh, it's, and they saying that he wrote actually rode with several of the police officers on their night rounds by riding through neighborhoods. You know how police ride around and all like that, check neighborhoods and shit, waiting for a car to come in. And he actually attended a party for a co uh, for a cop that's for, that was retiring, and they wrote like. He he actually wrote emails to the police chiefs, police chief thanking them, and actually that he had a good relationship with the police department and all this and that. Now and and it shows clearly. Show, I will show put the link, uh, CNN link into the description box. And I want y'all check it out because I'm not bullshitting. And it's funny that all this evidence is coming about how he's got a good relationship with the police department that he actually rolled with the police department and everything and the second thing is this has been brought up on The View you no know, ABC The View with Whoopi Goldberg, Joyce uh, Behart, uh, Sherry Shepard, Elizabeth Hasselbeck uh, and uh, Baba Walters like when he got arrested why did they give him the gun back that is one question I asked before and it's been asked again on national TV and if this was a murder case, they would have took that gun into evidence or something. And now to find out that he's got a good relationship with the police department, that clearly shows you there is a conspiracy going on, that they've been covering up certain evidence. Uh, and, it's, and it's fucked up. I'm going to read you a little something. It says, Sanford's police chief Robert O'Connor told CNN that the department does not have specific details about when Zimmerman rode with the police or who he rode with if in fact he did ride with the SPD see right there he that's from the police chief Robert O'Connor saying if he did like to me he if he did why are you saying oh if he did you ain't gonna do nothing you know he did it says uh, on September 18 2011 Zimmerman wrote an email to the the then chief of Sanford police saying that he had a completely new perspective after working closely with the closely with the police with the department and he continues on and said I have, I have a not have a positive perspective of the police department he wrote a he's saying that he's saying, like he said this is all this is evidence that he's out in himself and like I said I will put post this link in the bottom of the uh, description box so everybody can go see please check it out because it seems like it says conspiracy about this it's, but it says but the but he said when working with the police uh, the department community by the terrier part of the neighborhood watch ever to spikes a robbery home invasion in the neighborhood within within the past two months he's ch changed his views he's proud praise the volunteer it to me it's like it it's awfully funny because this question has been asked a lot I say because it's even known that why would a volunteer walk around with a gun a neighborhood watch volunteer would walk around with a gun and because you never heard it's awfully funny before this incident you never heard about any violent, uh, neighborhood watch volunteer having a gun on them or anything like that until this now this is actually evidence showing that he's rolled with the police like it's, it's you, 
could sit there and say, well, you can't say that, you can't say that, it's just all it's from CNN. But you got to remember, they're not, if he roll with them, they're not going to give all the evidence. They're only going to give you the bullshit end of the stick. Now, if he's been running with the police, and he's got out on, now think about it, if he's been running with the police, it, it kind of explains it, he got off on bail. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And I think it's kind of bullshit that uh, something's really. I don't think it's bullshit that nobody that this is coming out now. That all these that he's been sneaking around. That he's been sneaking around, riding with the police officers, getting a good relationship with them. Now this, now if this is going on. I think this needs to be taken into the evidence that to the court system that that he's been riding with the police that that is, is clout. One thing is the judge. I think that this needs a new judge because he's probably like this is why I say it's a conspiracy. How you know who's in on this because well because he's got bail. If it was anybody else, that would have got. If it would have been a another minority, that would have got sentenced right there death row or life in prison how come he got bail if a person committed a crime by killing somebody they end up getting sentenced right then and there without even a fucking trial they give them a trial like, oh next month okay next month trial but but it makes no sense on how all this evidence is coming out now and I think the judge if the judge don't take this piece of evidence into consideration that he's been riding with the police and emailing the police and having a good relationship with them, I think he needs to step down instead of proceeding on with this case. Because if he continue, if he keeps on working on this case and he finds him not guilty, you know, Florida's gonna be like California back in '92 when Rodney King got beaten and look what happened. The police didn't get arrested, so it's gonna happen down in Florida. Florida because you just let some dude get off from killing a kid and it's kind of and it's and it's fucked up that, that this is going on that this is happening that people's not taking this whole damn thing into consideration about uh not taking this into consideration because they think okay let's get him off because he's our friend he's our buddy he's he's everything to us why does he I don't get it now, to me, I think he needs to go to jail. I think he needs to spend his his life in prison for killing this kid. So that is so. I looked at it and I studied it. It's not about race. It's about the pro. It's about the principle of this. That this guy killed a kid that was unarmed. Y'all can sit up there on day saying, "Well, he attacked him. He attacked him." You heard the phone calls. You heard Trayvon Martin on the phone saying to his girlfriend, "Somebody's following me, following me, following me." Now you, now you heard that. Everybody heard. I heard it. Your mama heard this. Your grandmama heard. Your big mama heard this. Seen up there saying he, saying somebody is following him, following him. Then you hear. Zimmerman on the phone and you hear the police asking him are you following him Zimmerman said yes the police told him don't follow him do not pursue him now that's one thing people are forgetting there's, that's two of the key pieces of evidence right there when Trayvon is telling his girlfriend somebody's following me second is the police telling Zimmerman not to follow Trayvon but people keep overlooking that. People want to keep on looking at it. Keep on looking at it. Keep on saying, oh, he's innocent. He's innocent. Zimmerman's innocent. How can you say he's innocent if you had the police sitting up there telling him, telling him, um, telling him don't follow him, don't follow him, 
and, and, it's, and it's so fucked up, man. And like, I'm sitting here thinking about this whole damn thing about the people are not looking at the real evidence that you got Trayvon calling and saying somebody's following me. Then you got, then you got the police telling them don't follow him. But people keep on not want to look at that. People keep on want to overlook that and say, and say he's innocent anyway. Like, for real, though. If I was a judge and I was sitting up there and I heard them two pieces of tape saying, oh, he, he, the police saying don't follow him. Sir, please don't follow, pursue him. Now here, Trayvon's tape. Uh, somebody's following me. There wouldn't be no bail. I would have said no bail. I would have said if I was going to say bail, I would have said it so high where he couldn't get out. That's if you can't pay your bail, then you got to stay in jail until you're a real hero. At least he would have been sitting off in the jail cell. I wouldn't be bullshitting by playing games. Then you then you get this key piece of evidence that he's been emailing the police chief, that he's been having a good relationship with the police department, that he's been tangling along on the police runs and all this and that, and attending the police parties and so on and so forth. And it really makes you think about the situation. Why is this man still walking the streets? Why is this man still walking the street? And, and that's all. That's the question. That is that, that that should be questioned. That should be asked. Why is this one man still walking the streets after doing this? And then they need to investigate them. That they, they, they need to investigate the police department because of what's going on because if you get that key piece of evidence right there saying he's got a relationship with the police uh stanford P police department don't you think don't you think you need to start investigating uh that department investigating like why is this uh why they got a close relationship with this man to kill this kid that shouldn't they i guess not because they still letting this man walk the street they're not doing anything except sitting up there letting this man get away with so much. Letting this man get away with murder. Letting this man walk the streets. Because one thing is, this man could kill again. Oh, how you know that, Afro? How you know that? Just think about it. He killed one kid. How you know he's going to do it again? No, oh, well, I can't say that. I really can't say that. I really can't. I'll tell you, I'll retract that. I retract that statement about him killing again, but you get what I'm saying. Like, why would you let this man? It's like letting a T. It's like, it's like a school knowing that this person is a pedophile. It's like a school knowing that a man, this dude, is a pedophile and still, and but they give him a job anyway in a preschool. It's like the superintendent. It's like the superintendent knowing this guy's a pedophile, but he let him teach in a a fourth grade a fourth grade class. It's like letting R. Kelly teach an all-girls school. See what I'm saying? But it, 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 it's like this. It you got all this evidence against him, but less of Trayvon. Less of Trayvon. And that's all it is. He still... It, 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 it makes no sense that this all this evidence is out there and they still letting this man walk the street and this, I've actually had a person rooting, actually leave a comment rooting for uh, for Zimmerman rooting for Zimmerman so are you telling me uh, shooting, it, shooting innocent people is the best thing to do so okay if he gets away with murder I guess that self defense law doesn't mean shit is that like I'm gonna say it again? If Zimmerman walks away from murder, if he walks away from this charge, if he has been found innocent, found innocent, that means that whole self-defense law is is is, is bullshit. But if he if he gets away with this, from from murder, that that whole defense law means shit. That means that I can walk up to a police officer and shoot him in the face, and not be charged because I can say it was self defense. 
That's all it is. Let him walk away. <laughs> That's all it is. And please don't mind the Skype noises, but <laughs> uh, people help me with my Skype. <laughs> help me sometimes on Skype. So, like I said, this man, all this evidence that's coming into like him having a relationship with uh, the t the police department, the witnesses are lying, not telling the truth. More witnesses coming out. It was saying that. It was actually, uh, it was actually that uh, uh, Zimmerman that was that, that was on top of uh, on top of Trayvon, like they actually trying to say, well, if they found the bruises on the back of his head and they saw the bruises on Trayvon's his knuckle. You probably seen that saying, well, he, Trayvon started a confrontation. No, it wasn't. It was actually Zimmerman that started a confrontation. Because one thing is, the boy would still be alive if Zimmerman would have paid attention, would have listened to the police officer and not moved. And that's kind of fucked up that he is still walking straight and he's getting about to walk from a murder charge. And I, I just don't get it how people can sit up there and kiss ass and all this and that because people want to see him walk. How do you? It's like it's like saying letting Charles Manson walk. It's like saying a man. It's like saying a man or a woman to kill 15 people, and then after killing 15 people, went into a preschool to kill 15 kids. That's 30 people. So it's like saying let that person walk because they just let that person walk because they didn't do nothing wrong. He killed somebody in cold blood. And he started, and he, to me that is, to me that's guilty. The evidence that's showing up, the evidence that are showing up that the some of the jurors been been lying, or, or actually some of the jurors has been contaminated. Oh, is that what you mean contaminated? I mean some of the jurors been paid off. I think uh, on that one, I just can't be, I can't be for sure for sure about that if the jurors got but I know something was going on with the jurors the uh, the witnesses have been lying uh, the witnesses have been lying and all this and that and then more witnesses are saying that Zimmerman is actually this and that and, but it, 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 it's all it is to it man it, it's all it is to it Zimmerman is guilty you cannot sit up there and think this man is innocent if he killed a damn kid in cold fucking blood the gun wasn't taken away from him. They gave him back the murder weapon. How you gonna give back a guy the murder weapon after he killed somebody? How do you do that? How do you give back a murder weapon to a killer? I, I'm for real. How do you get? How do you give back? It's like giving Genghis Khan back his sword. It's like. I saw it. It's like giving back Genghis Khan his sword and say go kill and rape people. And I, I, I just don't get these people. I just don't get it. That these people, that all this evidence is coming out, making him more and more guilty, and he's still walking the fucking streets. How does he get to walk the streets and all this evidence coming out onto the light? And he's walking the streets. Everything, all this evidence that's making him look guilty, and he's still walking the street. That's one thing I do not get with people. He's walking the street and he's getting away with murder, and people are still kissing his ass. He's friends with the police department. The police department didn't want to show all the evidence. He claims self-defense. He followed and stalked this boy. The police tape shows that he. The police told him do not follow him. The police tape shows that Trayvon says somebody was following him and pe and he's walking the fucking street. How do you let a murderer walk the streets and, and let him be able to kill a person to kill somebody again? It's like giving a rapist a slap on the wrist and say, go back outside. Go outside and play. That is not enough. That is not enough. Man, I just don't get that, man. That is one thing I don't get. Oh, it makes me.
makes me piss. It, it pisses me off that this goes on. That this goes on to people or kissing his ass and being his friends. I just, I, I, I just don't get it. that this man can get it. Like all this evidence is stacking up against him. Witnesses lying for him. Evidence showing that he's guilty. Him being friends with the fucking police department. If you got, if you're friends, now think about it. You can see, you probably see saying, "What's wrong being friends with the police department?" Think about it. It doesn't look good on your part because they can fuck around with evidence and get rid of half the evidence. They can contaminate all the evidence they want just to make you look innocent. And y'all go sit up here. Oh, that's no, no, no. against the law. When a cop contaminates a piece of evidence for a friend or a relative and helps them get off, that's against the law. That means that they got to restart a trial. That means more taxpayer money is going down the drain because people are not doing their job. To me, I think the judge should step down from the case. I think he be. I think he should be put back in jail. I think if every piece of evidence should be brought to light instead of instead of sitting up there sitting in the dark so these fucking police officers are terminating somebody please investigate somebody please investigate the damn police department because to me it seems like they're contaminating the evidence as we speak as long as the evidence is sitting up in the police department they contaminate contaminated it whatever they fucking with it so they need to do that they need to go on and fix this before it gets to a point where that he walks free from a murder charge and because and, and, one thing is if he walks free from a murder charge that tells the world that you can kill people and claim self defense that you that means that that means that a man can break in somebody's house kill somebody in their sleep and walk out and say I killed him in self defense I, that's what they. That's what it is. You, if this man walks free, that's how it's gonna be. Somebody can walk in my house, kill me, walk out, and say I claim self-defense. I don't live here, but I can claim self-defense. Cause I, the way he killed me in my house, and he claimed self-defense. That's how it is. So, I think there should be an investigation, a new investigation on Zimmerman. I think he should be back in jail. I think the police department should be investigated and the judge definitely the judge should be investigated and see I, I did say they are getting paid off I'm telling you that judge is getting paid off just as them police officers well ladies and gentlemen like I said I'm going to put the story the link the CNN story in the description box y'all check it out and tell me what you think because please don't sit up there fuck you afro fuck you afro none of that stick to the topic it's not about me it's about a kid getting killed and a murderer about to walk free that's all it's about it's about nothing else but uh that's how it is ladies and gentlemen if you like what i got to say tell me what you think on the topic if by in the by comments or video response or if you don't like what i got to say you can kiss my ass and go suck on shane dawson's dick or get fucked by O.C. Osi, whatever his name is, get butt raped by Tazon Dale Fred, whatever, because I don't have time for that Billy Jack bullshit, but uh, that's how it is, so, follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie, uh, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3, and tell me what you think, because it's all about keeping the real with people. Peace, love, and so do the right thing, people. Do the right thing. Let's put this man behind bars for life. All right, then. Peace.